the Shark Tank. It is the Keller Williams, Mike Sackman pregame show here on WHHI Sports. It is high school football, and it is the great matchup between Buford and May River here on a Friday night on WHHI Sports. I'm Marcus Walsh, joined with Daniel Court. And Daniel, when you take a look at these two teams, you've got the two and one Buford Eagles, the one and two May River Sharks. We saw them last week, did we, against Ridgeland, talking about May River. What are some keys for both the coaches heading into this football game tonight? Well, first of all, there's gonna be a lot of emotion on the field tonight. This has become one of the top rivalries in all of the low country, possibly in South Carolina. These two teams have gone back and forth over the last six years. May Rivers won two of those contests. Buford's has got the edge with four of them. But Buford has not forgotten that late season loss to May River last year, 24-21, right. which cost them the region title. So I think what we saw last week was kind of an anomaly. Uh, it was a monsoon all over the state, and we didn't see much passing. So I think the key is going to be can Tanner Macy establish a passing attack against this really strong fast and aggressive Buford secondary. In this cross county bowl, we look at both the running backs, the offensive lines, the defensive lines, they do a great job. I'm looking forward to a really competitive game. One key to look out for, Colton Ferries. You think of him on offense, you think of him on defense, a wide receiver, a defensive back. He had the lone six points for Buford in their win over Goose Creek last week, six nothing with two field goals. Something to keep in mind, something to look out for. We've got a whole lot more coming up when we come back, we've got the Island Foot and Ankle Injury Report for you as the Keller Williams Mike Sackman pregame show on WHHI Sports continues right after this timeout. Hi, I'm Mike Sackman, broker at Keller Williams Realty. I've maintained a successful business model through multiple market shifts over time. I know this market and I know real estate. Serving 22 years in the Navy as a Navy diver, combined with a lifetime of boating on the coast, have enabled me to know the waterways that are an integral part of the low country lifestyle. Whether you're buying or selling, myself and my team can help you navigate the coastal South Carolina real estate market. Give us a call. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Let Casual Living Fireside and Grillin inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens, and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual Welcome back to WHHI Sports, back here on the pregame show. Now time for the Island Foot and Ankle Injury Report, and it's a pretty easy one to talk about today. Darian Perry for May River, one of their running backs, is questionable. He could play, and if he does, that could mean that Jaden Jones blocks a little bit for him. To, had a chance to talk to Bryce Librand earlier. They had some guys that were in evaluation earlier in the week. They're all healthy, ready to go. Should be a great game here tonight, Daniel. Yeah, rare uh, this deep into the season. I say deep, we're only four games in, but typically there are a lot of injuries yeah. four games in. So to have one player out is, is great news. The, the bad news is, is Darian Perry is a serious player. He's a dual threat, both at running back and defensive back. So they're going to miss him if he's not there. But if he does play tonight, that gives May River a two-headed monster in the backfield that Buford will have to contend with all night. So it'll be interesting. Thunder and lightning for sure. That will wrap it up for the injury report brought to you by Island Foot and Ankle. When we return, we've got the coin toss, the kickoff, and a whole lot of football on this Friday night right here on WHHI Sports TV. Stay where you are. We'll be back right after this. 
Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. At McGinnis Orthodontics, we're committed to giving you a reason to love your smile. We offer state-of-the-art technologies to create beautiful, healthy smiles by utilizing cutting-edge technology and artificial intelligence to guarantee the best results possible. We're in the 1% of top Invisalign providers in the country. The technologies we use are amazing, but we're pretty sure that it's how much we love what we do and the neighbors we do it for that makes the real difference. Visit us in Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort and mention this offer to get $250 off treatment. We look forward to seeing you and for you to love your smile. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. the National Anthem brought to you by O.C. Welch. I'm Mr. Brush, your referee from Charleston, okay? We're far enough along, let's make sure we have good sportsmanship exhibited at all times, okay? Get to the end zone, let's act like we've been there before, all right? The three blind mice, or men, is heads, the back is tails, says tails. What you gonna call it? Tails. tails gonna call down. tails, Mr. Peak. It is tails, sir, which means you want to you defer. defer. Yes, sir. That is correct. 
I got that right today. All right, he's gonna defer. I assume means you're going to receive. Where are you gonna put your backs to kick? Back to that side. Put your back down there, gentlemen right over here. All right, guys, let's have a good half of football, okay? Don't play well. Your shirts will receive the kickoff to begin the game. We are back here at the Shark Tank, May River High School. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Jackamot, Christopher Sanders, Maria Soden, of course, Jessa Jeremiah and Jeremy Pope as well. And there's the kick. We are underway. It's a short kick. It's going to be down at the 25 yard line by May River. And Beck Schweenen kicking it off for Buford, and May River will start at the 25-yard line. Again, 73 points scored for May River on the year. They've given up 54, one game winning streak against Ridgeland that we saw last week. Quickly, the numbers on Buford, two and one, two and oh at home, 0 and one on the road. They've scored 36 points, they've given up 28. They've got a two game winning streak last week beating uh, Goose Creek six nothing, and they beat Hilton Head 24 to seven earlier on as May River will start as we are just underway from the 25 yard line once again. And Daniel, again, this should be a very good ball game here tonight. Yeah, partner, I'm fired up. You know, this is, uh, this is a game both of these teams have been waiting for since last November when uh, May River triumphed 24-21 to take the region title. So as Jaden Jones, our MVP from May River said last week, this is personal. And here he is taking the handoff <clears throat> And he's going to take it to the 30-yard line, a gain of five, as that was a good handoff from Tanner Macy. Without further ado, let's hear from our presenting sponsor, Summit Services Heating and Air. Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI sports all year long. Second down and about four from just around the 30. We've got a whistle, some laundry, and while I think of laundry, our penalty flag sponsor this year is Pay Proudly. Don't get penalized with processing fees. Call Pay Proudly today. Boy, Marcus, what a difference a week makes, the, the, the weather. My gosh, we're, we're sitting out here under the tent uh, field side where last week at Ridgeland we were up in the booth, thank yep. goodness, but it was a monsoon all over the state. And here we have gorgeous 75 degree and low humidity weather for Friday night football. Yes, Couldn't be indeed. Better. It's clear. It might be pushing 80 as there's a run up the middle. Macy to the 45 yard line as he takes it up the gut. Our, I, go ahead. I say 75 degrees because that's what I like. There 75 you go. degrees. <laughs> And I'm very comfortable right now. So there you go. In my world, it's 75 degrees. Um, this is a, a, a kind of a perfect start for May River here yeah. to a good starting run with Jaden Jones up the middle, a penalty, and uh, Tanner Macy showing that elusiveness here early as he did last week at Ridgeland. Reminder, our pregame show was brought to you by Keller Williams. Whether buying or selling your next home, called Michael Sackman of Keller Williams today and a fumble and May River looks to have it back but they're going to lose a few yards. Yeah, Macy just looked a little bit too eager, you know, that that's a that's a great play to get it out quickly to your playmakers on the edges and let them create. But uh, he was a little anxious there and the ball just flew right out of his hand. He did a good job to recover that. But uh, that's a critical loss here of uh, making this still a third and short, but Nine minutes, 55 seconds to go, third down and three. Macy will go out of the shotgun fake, a little screen to the right, run up the middle. He's got the first down and more out to the 45 yard line. Reminder that our injury report was brought to you by Island Foot and Ankle. Don't fumble if you want to get a touchdown without, or if you want a touchdown without pain, call Island Foot and Ankle Surgery 
today. Really, nice run from Macy talking yeah. about feet. Really like the play call there. A little, a little pump, pump fake out to his left and got the defense moving and takes it up. You know, Macy's impressive. When he gets into uh, the, the linebackers and the secondary, he really can create with his feet. That's something to watch all night here. May River melting the clock down like butter. 9.30 to go in the first. And Macy's going to pump, fake the throw, and it's going to be a run up the middle by Darian Perry. We didn't see him last week, but he's in there, number six. That does mean, as we mentioned in the pregame, look out for Jaden Jones not just to run, but to block as well. And that's an extra uh, little wrinkle that May River is going to add to this game offensively. Yeah, and as the stands continue to fill up here on the home side for May River, they've got to be excited to see number six back on the field. He was out last week with an ankle injury, and uh, to have him back there working in tandem with Jaden Jones, I mean, we, we said it in the pregame, you've got a two-headed monster at running back between these two guys. Yeah, for sure. Second down and five from the 40-yard line. Macy's going to go out of the shotgun. He's going to fake the handoff to Perry. He's going to run it up the middle. And he's going to gain some yardage, about five yards to the 35-yard line. We are really seeing Macy attack the running game. We're seeing this entire offense attack the running game so far here in this first drive in the first quarter. Yeah, and both coaches had, had alluded to this in our pregame interviews with each. Said that the, this contest has always, they played six times, and the contest always seems to come down to what happens in the trenches. The, uh, Lybrand uh, for Beaufort said it's going to be uh, critical that our defensive line test their offensive line. And yeah. right now it looks like the offensive line of May River is getting the best of that critical battle here in this game. Third down and one. And now they call it a first down. Sharks with a first down at the 35-yard line. That is a Kevin Severe of State Farm first down. And they've got the ball at the 35-yard line. While we have a second, our officials tonight, the referee, Thomas Brush, 39 years wearing the white hat. Mike, uh, rather, Josh Peak, or John Peak, I beg your pardon, in his 40th year, as Macy's not going to get much there. John Peak, the umpire. The linesman, Luther Brown, in his 27th year. 42 years for Frank Welch. He's the line judge and the back judge in his 45th year, Steve Brush. A lot of experience with these officials that we have here tonight. Officials are still needed. Highschoolofficials.com for more information to become an official in the state of South Carolina. They are needed for a whole bunch of reasons, but uh, needed now more than ever. There are five that you see during a football game, three in basketball as well. So they're needed in a lot of sports these days. Yeah, the hardest working and sometimes most underappreciated group that you'll see in any sports contest. Without question. Second down, 10 to go for May River. Macy going to pitch it off to the right side. There's a big run near the 20 yard line as Jaden Jones, last week's Loco MVP with a huge run. He had 15 carries, 160 yards, four touchdowns, four tackles, a couple for loss last week in the game that we saw, 43-0 over Ridgeland. And he's got a Kevin Severe of State Farm First down on a great run down the right sideline, Daniel. Yeah, what I'm what I'm seeing, I, I really like this uh, out of May River is a lot of read option here in this first drive, Marcus. It almost looks a little bit like the mesh reads that Wake Forest does so well with Sam Hartman at quarterback. Yeah, when, when he's there, for sure. Handoff up the middle, and not much doing that time for Jones as a flock of Eagles there on the stop. A flock of eagles and a Hart, school of sharks. That's uh, right. Hart Cushman in on the tackle, number 55 for Buford. I know you like to smile. I do, too. You can love your smile at McGinnis Orthodontics. Good read, partner. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Thought I'd change it up a little bit. Well, when you're sitting here like, like us, right by the field, calling high school football for WHHI Sports it's here in the beautiful low country, it's pretty easy to smile especially in 75 degree weather. That's right, and, and with the people that we get to work with every week, love it. There's a pass over the middle, and it is caught by number eight. That's Michael Namder. He was out last week. He's back in there, the tight end, and he's got again eight yards 
Third down and one. Yeah. Ball at the 20-yard line. 5.33 to go in a scoreless ball game, but May River knocking on the door to change that. This was one of the keys that we mentioned in the pregame, uh, that May River would need to have some balance and assert themselves with the passing attack. And I, I really like the balance of plays that I'm seeing right now. You've had a couple passes mixed in with a lot of read option, and they're keeping Buford's really stout defense off balance here early. Inside, or just above five minutes to go as there's a handoff up the middle, breaking free! That's gonna be a touchdown! Are you kidding me? Tanner Macy, he can do it all! He was in a flood of sharks, and all of a sudden he comes out the other end and gets into the end zone! Boy, I must say, that is one impressive drive. The offensive line literally got a push on every play in that series. Uh, Tanner Macy showing some impressive work with his legs. Great uh, job in reading. I mean, that ball looked like it could have come out. He did a good job of securing it off the read, pulled it and found the seam, and, and just a beautiful scoring drive here to open the game. It's a TCL touchdown. Step up with TCL, the technical college of the low country. The extra point is good. We've got a timeout. 7-0 Sharks at home, 5.03 to go in the first at the Cross County Bowl on WHHI Sports. As a parent to another parent, TCL makes it very easy for you to succeed. TCL is definitely the smart choice. We really work with all of our students. It's the most affordable it's ever been. You have supportive staff here. We focus on practical teaching and hands-on application. You're gonna be able to get to know your peers. You're gonna get to know your instructors. It's a great transitional period for students coming out of high school. It is just a great school all around. Hi. I'm Mike Zachman, broker at Keller Williams Realty. I've maintained a successful business model through multiple market shifts over time. I know this market and I know real estate. Serving 22 years in the Navy as a Navy diver, combined with a lifetime of boating on the coast, have enabled me to know the waterways that are an integral part of the low country lifestyle. Whether you're buying or selling, myself and my team can help you navigate the coastal South Carolina real estate market. Give us a call. All right, we're going to take a break here on the sidelines, catching lots of great stories that are happening here at May River High School. We had a check in with the Booster Club. They got a lot going on over there. And right now we are checking in with Gary Zetrauer. He is the Booster Club president. And boy, it's nice to see you. Thanks so much for doing this. Oh, happy to do it. Well, we appreciate you. Uh, a dad here, parent of a student here on the golf team, out here really helping out. What are you all doing this evening? And you know, how is it that this all works? So tonight the Booster Club is taking care of the VIP parking. Um, we're also taking care of concessions. So a group of us come in and set up concessions. But the main reason for having concessions is that we have a team that'll come in. Uh, tonight it's volleyball. And they will earn money for their own account that they can use whatever way the coach sees fit. And that will allow them to uh, purchase things in the future or whatever. So they make the money off the concession stand tonight. I think that's so interesting and what a great way to do that. So the work that they're doing here tonight goes directly towards needs for their own sport. Uh, a great system you all have set up. Uh, let's talk a little bit more too. You talked about the parking lot. There's some other things that you do outside of concessions. Like give us some example. So we do the sponsorships around the different athletic venues. Uh, so we help with that and then we get money for that and that allows us to, once again, provide for any of the teams. So that's one of the other things. We also run a 5K. Last year was our inaugural year. This year will be number year two, so we'll see how it goes. I love it. Inaugural year, continue rolling on with the run and some other things. Uh, real quick before we head out, you mentioned that you're the president, but it's also your first year. Tell us a little bit about this staff. So we're mostly a new board. Uh, we had one, two holdovers, um, but they are amazing people. And then you have a whole group of new people and we're bringing in ideas that we've had from where we've lived in the past and trying to take every opportunity to make it the best we can for the students and athletes at May River. So much fun. Thanks for doing this. Thank you for watching. These sideline reports again are brought to you by Luke Garonski with Consolidated Planning and we'll get back to the guys. Welcome back, 7-0. May River with the lead. They look to kick off. Reminder, our National Anthem sponsor is O.C. Welch Ford. Go see O.C. today for a great car buying experience.
There's the kick, high, and it is kicked deep, but it's out of bounds. There's a flag down presented by Pay Proudly, and again, our referee, Thomas Brush. Well, uh, obviously that's gonna cost them 15 precious yards there. We have a free kick infraction on the kicking team. The ball would be placed at the 35. But I, I get the philosophy there. They're trying to kick that away from the amazing Colton Ferris at number and 10. Colton Ferris is amazing. Well, talking to, I told you, I was talking to Coach Librand here just before kickoff, and I said, tell me, what, what are your thoughts on number 10, who's an App State commit? Uh, he said he's a freak. Yep. Runs a 4-5-40 and can do it all. Kick two field goals in the victory last week, filling in for an, their injured starter. Here is Bond, and he's not going to get much of anything. I take that back. That, I believe, was Casey Fields on the carry, but Thomas Raich, number 45, who had a good week last week, in on the stop. Second down, 12 to go, 440 to go in the opening quarter here on WHHI Sports. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Jackamont, Maria Soden, Christopher Sanders, Jesse Jeremiah, Jeremy Pope. We're all with you. Fields wears number two, Bond, or rather Bonds, is out of the shotgun. He's looking to throw. He's going to fire a dart. Nice grab by number 88, Michael Dennison. Over the 45 to about midfield. Michael Dennison, the tight end, he's also on the basketball court. And I think he told me he even plays baseball, right? Yes, yeah, he's a th three, three sport athlete. You know, we've got two really good tight ends here in this football game. Michael Namdar for May River, and Michael Dennison, 6'5", 210 for, uh, for Buford. So it's a, a battle of the Michaels at tight end tonight. Ball at the 48 yard line. Bonds is going to keep it. He's going to run it to the 41 off the fake handoff. A reminder that our coin toss for tonight was brought to you by HH uh, Capital Partners, Hilton Head Capital Partners, navigating you to financial freedom. You know, having good quarterbacks at any level is critical, but especially at the high school level. We've got two really good, capable, athletic quarterbacks that are both dual threats. I think Samari Bonds comes into this game a little high, more highly touted as a passer than, yeah. than Macy, but Macy's fields breaking free. He nearly had a bigger carry than an, he initially did. He gets to the 32 yard line, second down and three, and now to Kevin Severe of State Farm. First, first down. down. Yeah, I was saying that M Macy, uh, we, we just didn't get to see a lot of passing for May River last week because of the weather. But Macy has ability to throw the ball as well. I think we're, we're in for just a, a, a real battle here tonight, Marcus. Absolutely we are. Bonds goes out of the gun. He's got time. Now pressure coming. He fires downfield, incomplete, and intended for number 10, Colton Ferris. And it'll be second down and 10 from about the 30-yard line. You know, Buford has a really talented receiving core. You take uh, the senior Casey Fields, who was a star on the last year's state runner-up uh, team, number two there, uh, Reichel, uh, McLeod Ra Rochelle. Yes. R McLeod Rochelle, number 23, 23, is also a returning senior from last year's uh, team. And, of course, you got the big tight end there, Michael Dennison. You know, they, they're, they're going to try to spread May River out, but uh, Casey can also hurt you with his feet as he has the ball here. 2.55 remaining, and it's a short run for Casey Fields, maybe to the back to the line of scrimmage. And Taekwon Callaway and Adrian Gaston in on the stop for May River. Third down. You got Colton Ferris checking in here, number 10. We're gonna see a lot more of him this year on offense just because he's such a uh, a multi-level, multi-skilled athlete, and um, he was the one I didn't mention in their talented receiving course. So right. they have got some athletes out on the corners, Marcus. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Bonds can get him the ball. Bonds rolls left. He's got Fields out in front of him to block. He's going to throw that way. Incomplete. Look out, folks. Pass intended for number 23, McLeod Rochelle. And fourth down and nine coming up. 
And you'll wonder now, what is Buford going to do? Are they going to go to Colton Ferris well, to, to possibly kick, or do they decide no. to go for it here? No, I think you're in you're you're in that sort of that no man's land territory where a field goal try is going to be a little long and kind of the mid range. Yeah, you're just yeah. deep enough into May Rivers territory where, um, you know, if you're going to punt, it's it's questionable whether you're going to be able to get that a pooch kick down inside the ten yard line. So they're going to go for it here. I, I like the call. Fourth down, nine to go. Bonds going to give a screen pass out to Fields, and he's not even going to get close. Great he's defense. He's wrapped up at the 34-yard line, and May River's going to take over on downs. Yeah, beautiful play by uh, linebacker Taquan Calloway there coming up uh, and containing uh, the great Casey Fields there on the outside. I, I did like the play call, but uh, those May River defenders slipped off their blocks. Key, key stop there on fourth down here early in the game. Clearly, uh, the Sharks are riding some momentum. If they can uh, put together another scoring drive, that's going to really have Buford Eagles back on their heels here early. After this play, we'll hear from our community leader and uh, certainly have a, have a read for that. And that would be Beth Drake. After this first down and 10th play for May River, as it is not going anywhere for Darian Perry. Visit Stokes Toyota Buford, your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience. 1.30 to go. Second down and 10, and Macy is gonna fire a short screen off to the right side. It is caught by Perry, I do believe. Yes, number six with the catch. And Darian Perry already, Daniel, getting into the action for May River. Yeah, it's good to see him back out on the field. You know, they're going to want to try. I, I, I love the play call there on first down to try to get it out there. But Macy just had a, a little, little trouble getting the pass away and getting enough mustard on it to, to get there before the defenders arrived. Colton Ferris, once again, showing why he's an App State commit by coming up in hot pursuit. Third down and three. And here's a run up the middle and not much for Tanner Macy. You know, we saw this from Buford a lot last year. You know, their defense uh, was typically on their heels early and they would just buckle down and figure out their rhythm, figure out some of the cadence and the timing of the opposing team. And it looks like they've settled down and it was a beautiful uh, three and out there for, for, the, uh, for the Eagles. 42 seconds remaining in the quarter. 7-0 May River. And now they're spreading things out offensively. And they're going to be punting the football away. High kick. Beautifully done. Goodness gracious. Back to the 20-yard line. And returning it is Ferris. He's across the 30 and down to about the 40-yard line, maybe the 39. Daniel, did you see some laundry on the field, or was that just me? I don't see a flag. Third flag on the play. During the return, we got Hawk in the back. On the white. Unfortunate. That was a good 20-yard return there was by Ferris. 19.3 to go. 10 yards from the spot of the foul for the flag. Says our referee, Thomas Brush. It remains 7 0 in favor of the home team in the gray, white, and blue. Buford in the white and dark green. Seemed like a really fast first quarter there, didn't it, Marcus? It, it has been a very well paced first quarter. Here's Fields taking it up the middle to the 25 yard line. Down to nine seconds to go. And Peter Hughes with the stop for May River. 
That's the end of the first quarter of the Cross County Bowl here on WHHI Sports. Our score, 7-0 Bay River. Second quarter action right after this timeout. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, managing partner of Hilton Head Capital Partners. And I'm here to be part of your fun high school football season. It's a great time. But the game begins with the coin toss, and that's what I like to see first. So let's have a fun time. Let's all play safe. Let's enjoy our teams. And please, don't drink and drive. Your parents want you around for a while. So enjoy the game and enjoy the season. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Let Casual Living Fireside and Grillin' inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens, and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual Hi, I'm Beth Drake. As your local realtor, I am proud to support our local sports. If you're considering buying or selling a home, you want an experienced agent who knows the local market and how to get you the best price. In the past 10 years, I've helped over 700 buyers and sellers achieve their real estate goals. From staging and marketing your property to assisting you in finding the home of your dreams, I would love to help you as well. Call me at 843-422-7500. One thing we like to do here at High School Football is give out an award for an outstanding community leader. And this week it goes to a student. Santiago Redma is here. He goes by Santi and an outstanding community leader. This is an impressive student right here. Santi started qualifying for states in ninth grade, uh, got second place as a sophomore and won state in, as for an individual for wrestling last year, his junior year, a senior now at May River, of course, returning to wrestling. Santi, how long have you been wrestling? My goodness. So I started wrestling, well, I started MMA when I was around like six years old and then I transferred into uh, wrestling in middle school. So I've been doing it for a while now. Well, your hard work is obviously paying off. Really exciting. I hear you're a leader, you know, on and off the mat. Just a great kid here at May River. I know there's some colleges looking at you. Are you going to wrestle in college? Any ideas? Um, well, right now my choices are open, and I've gone to a couple of visits. So, yeah, my plan is to wrestle in college. Yes, ma'am. We'll have to follow along in your career. Lots of good stuff coming for him, for Santi. All right, this is an award presented by Beth Drake. And thank you so much for being an outstanding community leader and for taking some time with us. Thank Santi, you. great thank work. So much. Appreciate thank you. you. All right, thanks so much to our community leader sponsor, Beth Drake. And thanks to Santi for doing this with us. We'll be right back. We start the second quarter and it's a short run. Not much doing there. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court with you. Daniel, let's hear from Casual Living. Casual Living. Casual Living Fireside and Grilling for the Casual Life. Another flag. Let's get the call. Yeah, overall, I felt like that was a very clean first quarter. Uh, clear, clearly, the weather conditions are faring better. The, both teams were able to put the ball in the air a little bit with some success. Um, keys here, I think, in the second quarter are, are going to be for Buford, as they did on their first drive, very much like May River did, is to chew some clock um, and, you know, assert themselves, get, get, get it to their playmakers on the outside so they can create in space. Right. Uh, but May River defensively right now looks very strong. 
Bonds sets to throw. He's scrambling around. Holy cow! He throws a long ball, and it's way over everybody's head. He's got plenty of arm. Holy He's showing that smokes. earlier. Yeah. That was a long, long ball. Yeah, you, know, you just didn't really have much. That's a good, good for a young player. I think he's a sophomore. Yeah, uh, that's wise. You know, if you don't have anything, don't try to force it and just throw it away and live to play another uh, down. But it also puts them with the penalty. It puts them the third and very long at, at third and 15. So they're going to have to create here. Otherwise, the field position is going to flip in May River's favor. 11:39 remaining in the opening half. Bonds with a high snap, he corrals it. Rolls to his left, he's gonna take off. He's gonna get across the 20, break a tackle, 25-30, and dive out of bounds at about the 31, maybe the 32 yard line. And he's got a Kevin Severe of State Farm first down, as well as a Buford Eagle first down. I'll tell you, what an impressive individual effort there by Bonds. I mean, he oh. just really didn't have anything. It was good defense, they had contained him. He, he does first a pump fake, gets the defender off balance, and then just does the rest with his legs and a little bit of will. Ball at the 32-yard line. Bonds going to go out of the shotgun, hand it off up the middle, and the school of sharks in on the stop. I have to ask this question, Daniel, being that you've been a South Carolinian your whole life, living here in the low country, have you ever tried shark? I have not. Caught a few. I have not either. I've no. Heard, I've heard depending on who you talk to, it's pretty good. Good eating. Yeah. My, my dad, I think, has had it and enjoyed it. There's a lot of fight when you, you get one of those to bite your hook. They're, they're, they're fighters. That's so true. And we're seeing a lot of fight out of this this defense tonight. The, the, the May River defensive line is doing an exceptional job against that really big offensive line for Buford. Bond is in, Bonds is in trouble, nearly got sacked, now running to his right, throwing down field, and it wow, is that's caught. a flag and a catch. I think that's going to be pass interference. We will get the call again from Thomas Brush. 10.27 to go in the first half. Boy, again, another just... Wonderful individual effort. Uh, it's a legal man downfield. Yeah, that ten tends to happen, Marcus, when you break, when the quarterback breaks uh, outside the pocket and scrambles. Those linemen have a tendency to drift upfield because it's the natural thing to do. But boy, even though that's coming back, what a what an individual effort again by Samari Bonds. I'm telling you, I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing out of this young sophomore. 10.27 away from halftime, and a reminder that we're going to have the halftime report brought to you by Stokes Toyota coming up. Visit Stokes Toyota of Beaufort, your friendly community dealer, for a truly exceptional experience. We'll have our first half recap, then uh, the drive of the week, as well as a special presentation here at May River during halftime. There's a breakaway run! Fields! Down the sideline! Wow. And he's down inside! The 30-yard line to the 28. Boy, Peter Nottleman uh, makes makes a touchdown saving tackle there for Did May River because Casey Fields has some breakaway speed, so that's an impressive stop, but even a more impressive run there by Fields, just getting up the middle, showing both power, elusiveness, and speed on that run, and he comes heavily advertised, and we just saw why. 10.06 to play in the first half. Buford knocking on the door to try to tie this baby up. And it's another run, this time by Caleb Ulmer. First time calling Caleb Ulmer's name. Yeah, he gets about see, three. Good to see him last, last uh, uh, this week. He uh, did a lot of substitute running for um, Morris last year, but uh, you know, he's definitely put, we talked about Jaden Jones having put on a lot of body mass over this off season. It looks like uh, Caleb Olmer's put on, put on a little weight since last season as well. And Moments uh, ago, we had a Kevin Severe of State Farm first down for all your home and auto insurance needs. Kevin Severe of State Farm. Bonds sets to throw, no. screen oh, pass, and it was wow. dropped by Michael Dennison. Oh, I really like what Bonds did there. Boy, to ch he checked down 
to his third option there, uh, Michael Dennison, who was wide open out in the flat. Dennison's got great hands, but you know sometimes when the ball's coming in soft like that, you get anxious, take your eye off the ball because you're trying to you're thinking about getting upfield, and it's exactly what he did. You got to look it in all the way. Big third down at seven for Buford. 9.08 to play in the first half. Snap goes to Bonds. He's going to step up into the pocket throw. Incomplete. Oh. There was a little bit of tangling going on there between May River and Colton Ferris. A couple of guys for May River protecting Ferris really well from catching that football. And it's yeah. fourth down and seven at the 27. Once again, Bonds impresses. I mean, that ball was right on the money. That's two drops in succession for Buford. That's 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 critical. As they're going to try a field goal. It looks like with Colton Ferris. Let's let's see if the the do it all wonder can can do it again. Fourth down and seven to go. Ferris trying to get on the board. Colton Ferris from 44 yards out. Snap good. Hold good. Kick is on its way. And he missed it. It remains 7-0 Bay River. We've got a timeout, and we will be right back after this on WHHI Sports TV. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment. We welcome you back. 8.54 remaining. We just had a Bluffton Builders timeout moments ago. Bluffton Builders always built with integrity. Tanner Macy going to hand it off to the left side to about the 22-yard line. Not much doing there. Jaden Jones, the ball carrier for May River. And we talked about this budding rivalry with Buford and May River before the game, Marcus. So Buford versus May River has been for the region championship for the last couple of years, and now yep. it's all about bragging rights because uh, it's now a non-region game with Buford uh, moving down to class three. Three A, yeah. yeah. Eight three A. Eight three A, right. And May River stays at seven four A. Macy gonna hand it off left side. Trying to break across. This is Perry down the sideline to the 38, maybe the 39. Yeah, we talked about the two-headed monster of Jaden Jones and Darian Perry in the background. I tell you what, if uh, if Darian Perry was banged up or has a bad ankle, I don't, I don't see it. Do you? I don't. His ankle's probably healthier than both of mine combined. You think Coach Summers was under underplaying that just a just a smidge? <laughs> you think yeah. he think he was resting him, knowing exactly what was going on last week? Who knows? Who knows? Those coaches like to play games, but um, you know. And that's why we love them. Yeah, well, we do. I mean, that's all all fair in love and war, right? Lots of receivers out wide, and Macy's going to take it up the middle, of course, to the 43-yard line. Reminder that our Sideline reports with Jessa Jeremiah this year brought to you by Consolidated Planning. Luke Goronsky with Consolidated Planning for local experience, financial planning. You know, May River is making life easy on themselves, but they're, they're, they're getting a lot of yardage on first down tonight. So it's always quarterback's dream to have second and short yardage. So here, here they go again. Uh, a wonderful run up the middle there for Tanner Macy. Here's a handoff up the middle. And there is a flock of Eagles there to make the stop as Darian Perry again gets the rock. Let's hear from Island Tire. 
Island Tire, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head, and Island Tradition. Of course, I'll be talking with the winning head coach. Daniel will have the MVP presentation coming up at the end of the night. 7 nothing in favor of May River. And it looks like we've got a Bluffton Builders timeout. Indeed we do. It's called by Buford. We'll take it with him and be right back after this on WHHI. Hey, are you looking to make living in the low country a little more affordable? Do you have a detached garage just like this one? Well, why not add on to it and make it a passive income opportunity? They call this a carriage house or an accessory dwelling unit or ADU. By building an ADU, you will increase your home's value, have an opportunity to actually make some money, and give someone a high quality home to live in and rent just like this one. My name is Ryan from Bluffton Builders and my goal is to make home ownership more enjoyable through the highest quality craftsmanship, convenience, and communication. To learn more, go to Bluffton.Build forward slash ADU. Hi, I'm Beth Drake. As your local realtor, I am proud to support our local sports. If you're considering buying or selling a home, you want an experienced agent who knows the local market and how to get you the best price. In the past 10 years, I've helped over 700 buyers and sellers achieve their real estate goals. From staging and marketing your property to assisting you in finding the home of your dreams, I would love to help you as well. Call me at 843-422-7500. All right, we've got another sideline interview. It's brought to you, of course, by Luke Goronsky with Consolidated Planning. I'm getting an opportunity to learn something new tonight. I hope you do too. We've got Kim Lamott who's joining us and they're doing some great things here, part of the event staff. Kim, thanks for taking some time to us. Tell us a little bit about what you do here and what makes up this great team with all the blue shirts. Oh, thank you. Um, I am a Spanish and ESOL teacher here and I'm also in charge of all athletic uh, ticket sales. And the people that help me every day and make this possible are other teachers that are putting in more time and also um, some of our administrative staff in the school. I love it. We love the color. We match tonight. Yes, That's a, a nice side note. Uh, also, though, you all are implementing a new system at the schools, at the events. First time trying it out at football. Tell us a little bit about this new digital system and why it's such a big deal. Yes, thank you. Um, this is actually one of the good things that came out of COVID. We are now all digital. We uh, only accept cards. And what it is, we kind of pre-did it with our spring sports, but this is our largest game right now. We are expecting over a thousand people to come tonight. And it is all digital. When you come in, you can either buy the ticket ahead of time with a QR code, or you can come up to the front and using a card can buy a ticket and then go around to the gates and get scanned in. We are hoping that it will reduce all the lines and all the frustration that we had from before. It is also great because we will not be touching any of the cash. I understand that took a considerable amount of time counting money. Just it's a big job to do as people are flooding through the gates. So we're excited to hear how this all goes tonight. Really quick before we head back to the game, I would love to know a little bit about where the money goes. The money goes to support athletics. Um, football, of course, is one of our biggest money makers. So we use football to support the other school sports also in the school. And we do get money from the district, but um, it's never enough for a school, especially a public school of this size. We're the largest one in Beaver County. And so we need all the help we can get. Well, you got a big job here tonight. Thanks for taking a break to just give us a clue and to what's all going on. We wish you the best of luck this evening as we're, you know, we're here in the middle of the game, but you know, we're pre-recording this in the beginning and we see a pretty full parking lot out there. So we'll get you back to it. Thanks, Kim. Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna get you back to the game. We welcome you back. 7.02 to go in the first half of the Cross County Bowl on WHHI. Along with Daniel Court, Larry Jackamot, Jeremy Pope, Christopher Sanders, Jessa Jeremiah, and Maria Soden, I'm Marcus Walsh. Again, 7.02 remaining. Macy's going to go out of the shotgun. May Rivers got the ball at the 47 yard line. Perry goes in motion to the right side. Macy gets the snap out of the gun, takes it up the gut, and he's across midfield into Beaufort territory at about the 47 yard line. And yet again, uh, good. Good yardage on first down. That's just going to be critical. Buford's got to get some penetration there, and they've got to start figuring. T Tanner Macy is is um, subtly crafty with that with that football. I mean, those little look away fakes. They're subtle looking, but that's just enough to throw a defense off and create some space. 
6.26 remaining. Macy goes out of the gun. He's going to hand it off. And is he? No, he keeps it. It was a fake handoff. He nearly lost the ball as he was wrestled to the turf at about the 47-yard line. A reminder that our player of the game will be coming up later on tonight. It's brought to you by Selectric, your Power Pro Elite Generac dealer in the low country. Done yeah. right now. Yeah, good, good, really good defensive play there by number 33, Zach Taubert. You know, that's what Buford's got to do. They've got to, you know, he sat down, didn't bite on the on the play action fake. Right. And that's what they're gonna have to start doing. They've been really biting on Tanner Macy's fakes. Man in the backfield is Darian Perry. Two receivers out to the right side for Tanner Macy. He gets the snap, it's a good one. It's a handoff up the middle. Perry's gonna take it from the middle towards the left side of the field and he is swarmed down by an eagle. You know, it's interesting, Marcus, you know, with all the, the, the movement by both offenses, both offenses have looked great in the first half, but we're only at 7-0. So both defenses are really asserting themselves with the exception of the first drive by May River. Right. These defenses are showing a lot of bend, but no break. Will Cotting, the linebacker, is there on the stop. And now it looks like May River is set to kick it away. Yeah, this is all gonna be about field position. You wanna try to pin him inside that 10 yard line here. And Dalton will punt it high. It's gonna fall and actually take a roll for Buford at the 25, maybe the 26 yard line. So Nathan Dalton punts it away. He will take over the 24, first and 10. Yeah, that's not a great net kick there for uh, for May River. That's going to be disappointing to the coaching staff. But you've still got them fairly uh, deep and penned in their own territory. So Buford right here with, uh, what, about four and a half minutes left in the half right. really needs to go on a long, uh, long drive and, and put some points on the board here. 439 to be exact as Samari Bonds and company go back to work. A lot of guys in the uh, front of that offensive line. They're really beefing it up because they're going with the run. Bonds hands it off, and it's a gain of about seven on first down and 10. It'll be second down and short upcoming as Thomas Raish and Darian Perry in on the stop. Yeah, Casey Fields has been the workhorse there in the backfield. He and Bonds doing most of the damage with their legs. You know, Fields was was a whiteout on last year's team. Yes, and that was him just there with the uh, football. Yeah, no, he's he's at running clear, clearly a running back this year, but he's just an all-purpose athlete. So yeah. getting the ball in his hands more times is better for Buford. Kind of like how Braxton Miller was in his last year at Ohio State Very after much. the injury with his arm. Yep. As there's a run to about the 40-yard line, I actually, since I mentioned Braxton, I actually had a chance to interview him in 2014 at the Hilton Head All-American Football Camp. It was the How about first, it? First uh, on-location report I ever did. How'd our, that go? Our good old pal Kevin Libby joined me. He was my cameraman that day, and He's it was a good sidekick. It was a lot of fun. It was. Uh, well, Braxton, Braxton had a great Mike career Davis at Ohio State. As well. Yeah. You know, and you see a lot, you know, Braxton Miller was one of those first, you know, quarterback slash athletes that you see that, you know, these guys are dual purpose. Here's Fields taking it to the right side, not getting much. Speaking of Hilton Head and that connection, we'll see Hilton Head and Bluffton in two weeks. We've got uh, Whale Branch with their uh, team visiting Battery Creek next week. That'll be Battery Creek's home opener. That's the next two weeks here on WHHI. Still got a whole lot of time though in the Cross County Bowl, folks. Yeah, it's really looking like, even though both offenses have, have asserted themselves here in the first half, this is looking like, you know, I got a feeling, Marcus, this is gonna come down to defense and special teams, which is what you like to see. I mean, that's yeah, the coach's absolutely. dream for sure. Um, but 2.50 to go. Bonds gonna set up to throw over yeah, the middle. Got beautiful. a man. And it's Colton Ferris, who else? Across the 50 to the 46 yard line. And big play there for Colton Ferris making the grab. Yeah, and he just, he snared that ball right out of the air. Beautiful pass by, by Bonds, you know, just putting it uh, the only place that, 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 uh, that he could or that he needed to so that his, his, his player could get the ball or nobody. 
and Ferris just snatches it right out of the air. Beautiful catch. Cameron Mitchell with the tackle there. Here's Ferris again, taking it up the middle off the little screen pass to the right side, and he's got another big gainer for the Buford Eagles. Yeah, Ferris is just such a good athlete. You want to try to get him the ball, especially out in space. You know, I think Lybran said he runs a 4-5-40, which is another reason why he's going to the, the strong program at App State. Uh, they'll probably be really glad to, to, to get him in an App State uniform, but um, I, I like the, the mix of plays that I'm seeing in this drive so far. Here's Caleb Ulmer. Not much there. A reminder that Ashley Powell, the wrestling coach for May River, will be, as well as the defensive back coach for May River, will be presenting the individual state championship wrestling ring to Santiago Ruida, and the May River marching band will perform as well, in addition to Daniel and my thoughts on the first half. And we've got the drive of the week. It's all coming up on the Stokes Toyota of Beaufort halftime report. Yeah, with 1.33 left here in the half, Buford's got to be thinking uh, pass, you know, even though it's third and short here. You want to get third and one. You want to secure this first down, and then you got to go to the air. And they're going to run it and get the first down as Fields takes it up the gut. And a couple of sharks in on the stop. Ethan yeah, Sprinkle so. is one of them. So now, Marcus, you're going into your, your basically your two minute offense here. So you, know, you, you got the clock winding at 110. Yeah. They're going to need to keep the ball in the air because uh, they're going to have to have the ability to at least stop the clock. Bonds throws a dart and uh. it's incomplete. Intended over the middle for. I believe number six. Yeah, that's the third drop pass we've seen tonight. Bonds is putting the ball on the money. I tell you, you know, when you're when you're following or stepping in the shoes of a legend, uh, a, a Buford Eagle legend like Tyler Haley, who's now at Newberry. Right. Um, that's that's high cotton. That's, Absolutely. That, that's a tough act to follow. And boy, he looks every bit the part. He's got got the legs like Haley, and he's he's putting the ball on the money so far here in the first half. The receivers just gonna they gotta secure those catches. These are critical drops. Thomas Purdy, number six, was the intended target, and he's out to the outside on the right, awaiting the pass. But it goes to number ten, Colton Ferris. Ferris getting a ton of touches tonight, and that one was a little bit low. Well, and it forces a timeout as well. And 54.1 seconds to go. We've got a Bluffton Builders timeout. We are going to take it as well. Be right back. This is a Buford timeout. Back with more right after this on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we'd like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common, quality, innovation and service. Give us a call today. At McGinnis Orthodontics, we're committed to giving you a reason to love your smile. We offer state-of-the-art technologies to create beautiful, healthy smiles by utilizing cutting-edge technology and artificial intelligence to guarantee the best results possible. We're in the 1% of top Invisalign providers in the country. The technologies we use are amazing, but we're pretty sure that it's how much we love what we do and the neighbors we do it for that makes the real difference. Visit us in Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort and mention this offer to get $250 off treatment. We look forward to seeing you and for you to love your smile. We welcome you back. We've got 54.1 seconds to play in the first half. Again, the Stokes Toyota halftime report. Daniel and my thoughts. We've got special presentations for uh, May River as well as the drive of the week all straight ahead. Bonds set up to throw after running and moving those feet, chopping those feet down. It's caught by McLeod Reichel. No, or I, Reichel, rather. I, I think that's or, uh, incomplete. Incomplete, okay. Peter, Peter Nottleman with the uh, stop there. So interesting call here. Fourth so down. 40 seconds left. You got fourth and long. Uh, once again, they're in that, that sort of that no man's land territory. I think they got to go for it, which it looks like they're going to do. I agree. Um, I think you got to try to find a seam here. You know, you got um, McLeod Rochelle there in the, in the middle, Dennison on the outside. You got to find a seam. Looks like he's going to go to the corner. Bond's going deep left side, and he's going to overshoot. No, he's not! 
It's caught in the back of the end zone! No. Or was it? Incomplete. Incomplete! Wow. I beg your pardon. I got excited for nothing. <laughs> well. Well, that was a heck of a I like play. your enthusiasm, partner. Wow. Yeah, I'll tell you. Just Incomplete hat, going back the other way. Hats off, helmets off to, to this to this May River defense here in the first half. You know, they've, was, they've been back on their heels a few times and just bowed their necks, yeah. got, the, got the key stops when they needed to. They're really getting penetration. They're, they're making bonds work right. like crazy. But I think what's critical that I've seen here in the first half and the difference is the drop passes. Absolutely. Three critical drop passes for uh, for Buford. This would at least be a, a tie game. A tie if, game. If not, they have the lead. There's a fumble on the missed snap, and it's corralled by Macy, but it's going to be a loss on the play. Yeah, I think if you're Rodney Summers, you know, it would be prudent just to uh, – let the let the clock wind out here on the half. Keep the ball secure. Don't don't do anything foolish and give Buford uh, some easy points. 18 seconds and counting left in the first half. Macy gonna hand it off, and it's a Jayden nice Jones. run by Jaden Jones. Yeah, looked like he lost the ball for a second, but corralled it. We've got 8.2 seconds remaining in the first half. Probably just enough time for one more play. They could probably are running this situation, right, Daniel? Yeah, I think you're just you're just too far back. I mean, if you were at the 50-yard line, you might want to try a hail mary or a little trickeration, but I, I just don't see the the logic in that at this point. You've got and a seven to nothing. You've got a seven to nothing lead, and your defense is playing lights out. I think you take it to the house and count your blessings. Eight seconds left. Handoff. Right side, it's Jaden Jones. He's going to rumble, stumble, and bumble to the 30, actually the 46-yard line. Now that's interesting. So he gets it 3.7 to, to go. He gets it to close to the 50-yard line here. What are they at the 45? Now we might see a try. I, you know, with maybe. three seconds, three, three point seven seconds left. I, why not? You know, I think you're, I think you're deep enough that uh, it's unlikely that Buford could hurt you on a return. So why not? Wait, what do they say in golf, Marcus? We didn't, we didn't come here to lay up, right? That's right. I always <laughs> say if I wanted to lay out on the beach, I'd go to the beach. There's yeah. a handoff and not much yeah. doing. That will end the first half. Smart play. We've got the Stokes Toyota of Buford halftime report coming up. Our thoughts and a whole lot more straight ahead as the halftime report rolls on. It's 7-0 in favor of May River in the Cross County Bowl, only on WHHI Sports. The halftime report next. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. Let casual living, fireside and grilling inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual living. As a business owner, local service is important to me. I want to work with companies that know me, know my business, and are here when I need them. We have used several different credit card processing companies in the past until I found PayProudly. PayProudly's team listened to me and developed a custom solution that saved significant amount of money and made our process to accept payments easier. They are always ready and available to speak with me when I call. But what makes working with Pay Proudly even more meaningful is that they genuinely care. They contribute a percentage of fees collected to local charities that are important to me at no additional cost. I'm proud to be working with Pay Proudly and making the Low Country and the world a better place together. We are Pay Proudly. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection.
Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. Hi, I'm Mike Zachman, broker at Keller Williams Realty. I've maintained a successful business model through multiple market shifts over time. I know this market and I know real estate. Serving 22 years in the Navy as a Navy diver, combined with a lifetime of boating on the coast, have enabled me to know the waterways that are an integral part of the low country lifestyle. Whether you're buying or selling, myself and my team can help you navigate the coastal South Carolina real estate market. Give us a call. Welcome now to the Stokes Toyota Halftime Report. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, the rest of our WHHI crew with you. 7-0 in favor of May River, the home team here at the Cross County Bowl. And Daniel, the first half really went kind of as we expected. A lot of defense, yes. Buford obviously held Goose Creek to a goose egg last week. So their defense came in very highly touted. May River, though, is getting getting the better of them so far. I think the key to the game so far is the bend but not break defense of May River. Both teams are showing that they can move the ball. Really impressed with Samari Bonds for Buford, uh, putting the ball on the money. And I think the, the critical, we talked about it in our broadcast, the critical element there is three very key drop passes uh, that basically thwarted great drives for the Buford Eagles. Otherwise, we got a different ball game. Absolutely. What are some keys on both sides in the second half? I expect just as much intensity. Yeah, I think for uh, May River, more of the same. They're doing a great job of mesh reads, read options with Tanner Macy, a little mix in of the pass. I think for Buford, they're going to need to spread the field out a little bit. They've got great playmakers with Colton Ferris and uh, Michael Dennison. Uh, McLeod Reichel, so, uh, Rochelle, so, so I look for Buford to be a little bit more aggressive, go to the air and spread the field out a little bit so that they can keep May River's defense off balance. Buford came in 2-1, and one. May River came in 1-2. and two. This is the home opener for May River, and again, this is a non-region matchup, but the rivalry still is hot, and it still remains. Is it 7 nothing May River? That'll do it for our thoughts. We've got a plenty more action coming up in the second half shortly. Got the band to play, but before all of that, let's go to Stokes Toyota for this. Hey guys, welcome in. We are at Stokes Toyota of Buford, and this is your drive of the week. I'm joined here by the uh, general manager, Michael Lynn. Thanks so much for taking some time with us today. Hey Jessica, it's good to be here. Well, great, great. Well, give us a little bit of an update. Like we have, um, we've watched COVID the last couple of years really affect you know, the market, uh, different industries in different ways. Uh, we actually just went through the housing boom and that's kind of shifted and stabilizing. How has it affected the automotive industry? Well, you know, the, the automobile industry has always been uh, one that kind of just uh, grows and adapts to the markets. Um, and it's been a, it's, we've had to relearn how we do everything sure. uh, in, in this market. It's, it's affected our supply chains, um, the availability, um, just it, it, you name it, it's, it's had an effect on our business for sure. What are you guys doing now? Like, what are you seeing now and how are you all doing things a little bit differently? Well, uh, you, you know, our, our primary market, you know, in this area um, has expanded um, because of the lack of inventory at dealerships. Mm -hmm. um, we have, uh, we've, we've seen a lot more people coming into our market from outside. Um, to try to get what they want. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, you kind of have to probably go outside the box a little bit to find what you're looking for. Yeah, our pricing strategy has been uh, been one of our biggest assets. You know, we're not a we're not a dealer that market adjusts or sells over sticker. Um, we mm -hmm. just we don't feel like that's necessarily the, the the best best plan for us going forward with our customers. So um, that's also helped with you know moving our inventory very quickly yeah that's that's amazing so you guys have been able to kind of keep that down and and kind of you know keep people moving in and out the door I mean that's yeah great. you know since, since when has MSRP not been enough you know we've been really blessed our customers have been really loyal we've tried to return that loyalty with the way that we take you know take care of them on the pricing so. absolutely well that's why you guys are the place to visit um, well thank you so much and thank you all for tuning in for this week's drive of the week brought to you by Stokes Toyota of Buford Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. 
We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive-thru. And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. Let Casual Living, Fireside and Grillin' inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual High School Athletics would like to recognize our 2022 wrestling state champion, Santiago Pereira. Santiago was the state champion this past season at 138 pounds in Class 4A. He finished off the great season with a 40-2 record, winning 40 straight matches. Championship ring. Congratulations to Santiago Rueda on his state title. And he's coming back, fans. He's a senior this year. And we hope he can do it again. Once again, let's hear for Santiago Rueda. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thanks, guys. Good job, buddy. This is the mower that cut the lawn where you laid on your back so a princess could fly. The Xmark Radius will get you on and off the lawn quickly with the signature cut, comfort, and reliability more landscape pros trust. Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Radius online for special finance offers available now. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Old Town Golf Cars offers golf car service and sales of all makes and models in the Bluffton and Hilton Head area. We are authorized dealers for Gurria, Tomberlin, Advanced EV, and Royal EV, as well as many others. We have a wide range of golf carts to choose from at the most affordable prices in the area. Call or stop by today to learn more about our inventory. We welcome you back to the Shark Tank at May River High School, the Cross County Bowl on WHHI Sports. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Jackamont, Maria Soden, Jeremy Pope, Christopher Sanders, Jessa Jeremiah, we're all with you here tonight. And the opening kick of the second half is up and away, and quarter number three is underway with a touchback, and it'll be Buford Ball at the 20 yard line. Boy, Nathan Dalton showing some serious Good Thunderfoot grief. there. I mean, he kicked that almost out of the end zone. Talking yep. about how far somebody was kicking makes me think of actually just watching a game that we did last year and Larry Jackamot made the, the joke that I was still looking for the football as it was headed to the moon and it was actually a Buford game yeah. that we were doing because it was Caparola. Joe Caparola. That was kicking it. Yeah, he and uh, Alvin Wilson from that team both committed to Benedict College. Yep. And I think we mentioned Tyler, Tyler Haley is at, at Newberry. Yes, indeed. And Colton Ferris is heading to App State as there's a short run to the left side for one Casey Fields and Jaden Jones with the stop 
for the Sharks. Yeah, if you like defense, then you really loved that first half. It, you know, with the exception of a handful of penalties, it was a pretty clean, level first half for both teams. Absolutely. A, a, a lot of good movement offensively, but a lot of stiff defense when it counted. Second down and about 10. May Rivers got a guy that's heading up near the line of scrimmage and we've got a flag as Thomas Brush will make the call. False start against Buford and Taquan Callaway was the May River Shark number 21 that was heading up near the line of scrimmage. Looked like he may have gone off sides, but the false start instead. Yeah, we talked about it in our halftime report, Marcus. It's going to be key for uh, Samari Bonds and these wideouts to get the ball out in space and create. They've got to spread this May River defense out a little bit. Here is Bonds. He's set to throw a deep right side. And it's going to be, again, thrown over everybody. Closest man to it was a shark intended for Colton Ferris, or rather Colton Ferris, beg your pardon. Our extra sponsors we want to give a shout out to tonight, Superior Services, Elsewhere's Sports Memorabilia in Old Town Bluffton, Randall Lawnmower Equipment Sales and Service, CT Lounge and Company Insurance, Palmetto Electric, and certainly Fat Babies, food for the crew from Fat Babies again tonight. And uh, we've got some more tailgate sponsors that we want to give a shout out to. Chicken Salad Chick was the meal provider for Media Day. Media Day brought to you by FWDG, big sponsor for us here at WHHI Sports, the furniture and services you deserve. As Bont sets to throw, it's oh, a strike over beautiful. the middle. And that's a big pass and catch. It's caught by Colton Ferris. And it's a big play for the Buford Eagles. Well, I'll tell you, the one thing at the high school level for, that's, that's really difficult for quarterbacks, just because they're still in the development stage, is, is, is checking down. Bonds is just really composed in the pocket. I mean, he, he checked down three times there, Marcus, before he found Colton Ferris over the middle. Bluffton Barbecue, another tailgate sponsor. Is that play not going much of anywhere? Well, the future is bright for Buford with this young man at quarterback, though. I mean, it's again, we've talked about filling the shoes of Tyler Haley. But so far, so good for Samari Bonds. I really like his composure, like, like I talked about. And, and again, he's, he's a threat with his feet, so he's going to keep a defense honest. Amigos is another tailgate show sponsor for us at WHHI this year. I'm not even hungry, and I'm doing all these Well, you're doing good, mentions. though, partner. I'm glad it's you. 10-28 to go. Second down and eight, and there's a run to the left side. And a big hit for Thomas Raich Tom, making the tackle. Thomas Raich is a he, he is an active middle linebacker. He, he did a great job last week. Th this young man is intense. He's quick to the ball. He's aggressive. He's the one that had the big hit on the, uh, the Ridgeland receiver last week that, that got everybody's attention. Love watching his play there at middle linebacker. Third down, Bonds fires left side, complete across the 45, across the 50 to the 49-yard line. McLeod Rochelle with his first reception tonight. We talked about him in pregame. He was a, 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 a real contributor to last year's state, state championship finalist team. Uh, that's what I want to see more, uh, and I think it's, it's exactly what Buford needs to do, is get the ball to Rochelle, Dennison, and Ferris there on the outside. Um, Rochelle can hurt you. He's got yes, speed he and elusiveness. 9.20 to go. Out of the shotgun goes Bonds. He's going to hand it off He's got to room. Fields. Fields does have room across the 46, maybe to the 44-yard line. You talk about uh, Buford last year being as effective as they were as a state finalist. They were runner-up in the championship game against South Point. We mentioned that last week, and we actually saw at halftime a big key factor for May Rivers team, Javon Allen, who is yeah. now at South Carolina State University yes. on the travel team. Here's Bonds throwing short, caught by Dennison. He's across the 40 to about the 35 yard line. Yeah, what a what a nice young man. Oh, you uh, got it. Javon Allen, he stopped by here and 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 gave us props and really enjoyed just, what just we do and had a lot of kind things to say and 
you know, it just always to see him too. It, it always lifts your spirits to see a young man that's got that kind of a future ahead of him with that kind of character. It's it's amazing. I've been doing football again with WHHI since 2019. As there's a run up the middle, and a little bit of chippiness going on on the field. There's a flag thrown. Oh no! As Taekwon Callaway makes a stop, but these kids, when you talk to them, whether you interview them on air or just talk to them off air, they are so polite. So really well are. mannered, so well natured, as this flag presented by oh, that's Pay Proudly is out and about, and it's a uh, it's great. It's a lot of it has to do obviously with their coaches and families and, and whatnot and the upbringing. It's it's just great to be around such great young kids. Yeah, Bryce Libran was talking about and Rodney Summers too to a man. You know what what great young men they have, and that's. That's really, at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. Absolutely. Uh, not, not very many um, high school football players go on to a career in football or in sports in general. Um, so the character is what's going to carry them through life, and, and, and I think there are bright futures on both sides of the football. Reminder that our scoreboard sponsor is McGinnis Orthodontics. McGinnis Orthodontics, love your smile. Well, Marcus, that's that's a killer. Buford had, you know, with the great third down and long play by by Samari Bonds finding Colton Ferris and then uh, uh, McLeod Rochelle, uh, they had something cooking there and shoot themselves in the foot with a with a really silly, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct penalty there to slow their drive down. But they're coming right back to the air. Bonds throws yep. incomplete intended for Ferris, and that was all a result of the the penetration by. May Rivers defensive line there. They, Samari couldn't step into that pass. As a result, it came up short. So this really puts uh, Buford back behind the eight ball and again in that no man's land. So I, I, I got to think, you know, here seven minutes already left in the third quarter. Just Buford, under eight, or 758. Eight. Buford's got to be thinking uh, two plays here. I think they got to try to get this first down and get some momentum. Bonds takes the snap, goes backwards, fires short. It is caught, but not much doing at about the 44-yard line. Tyquan Calloway again, who's playing a great game. And again, another after-the-play penalty. What's going on here? Presented by Pay did, Proudly. Did May River return the favor here? If so, that's a big momentum shift. 7.46 remaining. Thomas Brush and his crew talking things over. Now Rodney Summers had talked about before last game against Ridgeland, you know, we've got to stop making the silly penalties, the penalties that shoot you in the foot. And again, these are the kind of penalties that absolutely drive a coaching staff crazy. And I'm sure on the May River sidelines, they are burning, steaming hot there. Uh, that's you know, you've got them stopped. It's fourth and long. Yeah. You've got them in a punting position. You've got all the momentum going in uh, in your favor, and you give it away unnecessarily. That's a painful, painful, and costly penalty. Fourth down and two. Oh, I thought that would be an automatic first down. I thought so as well. Fourth and two at the 27. 737 remaining. I was on a 737, I believe it was, just about a week ago. As there's a short run, it's going to be awfully close. Oh, he fumbled it out of bounds. Looks like May Rivers got the ball. May oh Rivers says they, they do. do, and they do have the football. They stop Buford on a fourth down and two. Once again, May Rivers defense answering the bell. Wow, what a stop on fourth down. It looked like Fields had the first down. I think he thought he had to do a little bit more. He just falls forward. I think he gets it. But what a what a turnover at, at a critical time in this third quarter. We've got a sideline report from our own Jesse Jeremiah. Let's go to that now. One of the things we love about getting some sideline reporting is catching the action from those who are bringing the most energy to the field. You got to give it up for the May River Sharks. The cheer team is here. We're going to give you a little bit of a sideline report on one of their cheers. So take it away. It's hard to tame a shark. It's hard to tame a shark. It's hard to be the best when it comes to winning football. We're better than the rest. It's hard to tame a shark. It's hard to be the best when it comes to winning football. We're better than the rest. It's hard to tame a shark. It's hard to be the best when it comes to winning football. We're better than the rest. That 
is school spirit at its finest. Thanks so much to Luke Garonski and Consolidated Planning for supporting these sideline reports. And thanks to these fine young ladies for bringing the pep. We'll get back to the game. Jessa, thank you very much. Great to have some great folks out and about on this beautiful South Carolina low country night. Temperature in the high 70s. Some humidity, but it's dry. That's the big factor. And here's another big factor. Back in the lineup is Darian Perry. And he takes it out to the 39-yard line. He's had himself a nice night so far. He's a little slow to get up, but good job out of the uh, Buford coaching staff there to help him up. Yeah, you Stuff hope. Stuff like that, the great sportsmanship that you see. Yeah, yeah, but you hope uh, Darian Perry's okay. He's looking ginger he as, he as he walks off the field. I saw him call for a replacement. You know, being on a on an already questionable ankle, yeah. You hope that that he can weather through this. He's staying on the field though. First down, ten to go for May River. Macy out of the gun, gonna hand it off up the middle, and not much doing at all, as a lot of Buford Eagles in on the stop. Yeah, good penetration there by the line. And the backers, Colton Ferris coming up, and a host of Eagles making the tackle there. And that's Jayden, what they're going to have to do. Jaden Simmons, number 56, able to stop Jaden Jones there. Six minutes, 50 seconds to go. Let us hear from Summit Services Heating and Air, our presenting sponsor of WHHI Sports all season. Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performances services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI Sports all year long. As there's a nice run for Tanner Macy. Well, that has been his bread and butter all game is that little work up the middle. He's just a, he's got good field vision, good instinct. You said he's a great basketball player. Yeah. His father's a good athlete here as the, the AD here at uh, May River High. Um, so, Daddy's got to be got to be proud of the, oh, uh, sure. of the game his son's playing. Hey, Kevin Severe of State Farm first down right there. Macy going to go out of the shotgun again. Buford comes in two and one. May River comes in one and two. Something's got to give here tonight, and it's been a dandy game. As there's a run to the left side, and taking it is Perry. He looked pretty good on that run, as he gains about three or four to about midfield. Six minutes remaining in the third quarter here on WHHI Sports. Reminder that our halftime show was brought to you by Stokes Toyota. Visit Stokes Toyota of Beaufort, your friendly community dealer, for a truly exceptional experience. You know, once again, both offenses asserting themselves, moving the football. This has been the story of the game from the outset. Um, but these defenses are just stingy. They're just not giving up big plays. And as a result, we've got a 7 to nothing game. Here's a run to the left side. It looked like Perry wanted to go backwards, maybe thought about flipping it back in a flea flicker motion to Macy, and Macy kind of urged him, no, turn around, keep I gonna, running. I was going to say, Macy just got behind one of his big uglies there. The, old, right. the old big uglies. The old big uglies. Give me a Keith we, Jackson, as partner. As we mentioned, Keith Jackson once again, the old big uglies. <laughs> Whenever I think of Keith Jackson, of course, I have to think of the Rose Bowl. Yeah. Pasadena, California. Boy, it's... Oh, Nelly. Keith Jackson, one of the greats. Not, nothing like those old Rose Bowl games oh, with, oh, with Jackson and Brent Musburger. Oh, yeah. man. Takes you back, doesn't Love it? Love it. 5.28 to go in the third. Macy out of the gun, has a man to his right. That's Perry. Macy going to run it to the left, now cut up the middle. Juke through a defender, and, and uh, rather Tanner Macy with a huge run to the 25-yard line. Let us hear now from Keller Williams, our pregame sponsor, and Michael Sackman. Whether buying or selling your next home, call Michael Sackman of Keller Williams. Uh-oh, another costly another penalty. penalty that's going to erase a great gain for Tanner Macy. Well, I'll go back to Tanner Macy, and I've, I've been calling him out all night. You know, he's just really impressive. You know, he does this, this great plant cut that I love. You know, just he, he was doing it last week in the rain on that turf field, and uh, he's just got great footwork, and he's hard to bring down for a, for a slight-built guy. Yeah, oh, boy. 
That is a false start if I've ever seen one, unless you caught something on the Buford side, Daniel. No. I saw 73 jump. No, again, penalties are, are um, just killing the momentum for both of these offenses. If Billy Hall, the uh, offender there. Tough enough to get yardage in this game, but boy, when you're giving it to the other team, it's just going to make it that much more challenging. 5'11", 275. Here's Macy up the middle. Out to about the 45-yard line. Macy's got some wheels. Yeah, he We've does. We've seen it now the second straight week. Talk about the plant cut. Uh, he's really got the plant cut down, and uh, Buford hasn't really had an answer for that play all night. I, I, and they're just going to continue to go to it until, it can, until they can stop it. Under five minutes to play here in the third, a reminder that we need officials in the state of South Carolina. These officials that we've got tonight have at least 20 years of experience, if not more. We're looking for folks to step up and, uh, and be that voice to help out high school sports within the low country here of South Carolina. Go to highschoolofficials.com to find out how you can become an official. You can also apply there as well. You can be a great role model for your community, have flexible hours, earn a little extra money, which always helps. You can have a great network of, of friends and colleagues and have a lot of fun doing it. So join today, take a look, see if it's right for you. Highschoolofficials.com. Two great plays for quarterback Tanner Macy there in secession uh, with being backed up after the two penalties. They're third and manageable now. Here he goes again. Takes it to the right, uh, rather to the left side, then up the middle. He's going to be just short, it looks like, but uh, I got to believe. To the 30. I got to believe there, you know, again, in that in that area of the field where you got to go for this. Boy, a, touch, a score here uh, is going to make it really difficult for yeah. Buford the way May River's defense is playing. It's 7 0 May River. Jack Sumner in on the tackle on that last play. Here's a run up the middle. Jaden Jones and, from the Wildcat. And it's Jaden Jones. He's going to be close. Indeed taking it, and he did all, take the snap. This is all going to be predicated on the spot. It looks like he's going to be short. <laughs> Boy, that's a huge play. These defenses just continue to not break. And the Eagles take over at the 33-yard line. 3-18 to play in the quarter. And our score remains seven nothing in favor of May River. While we have a second, let's hear from our national anthem sponsor. Nobody reads an OC Welch Chad like my pal Daniel Court. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm gonna give it my best. OC Welch Ford, go see OC today for a great car buying experience. Ooh, that was awesome. Like butter. Like butter. There's a handoff up the middle and a run out to the 43, maybe the 44 yard line for Casey Fields, if there's a way that Buford comes back and wins this game, I think that Casey Fields would be definitely a guy that you might think of, either he or Ferris at, uh, Ferris at this point. Yeah. He's, our, our guys I'm looking at. He's He's been a workhorse all night. And uh, again, both teams getting good yardage on first down. 2.47 to go. There's a pass to the sideline and incomplete intended for Colton Ferris. Yeah, it looks like uh, Bonds and Ferris just weren't on the same page there. Um, Bonds was throwing for an out. Ferris turns uh, a button hook from the inside. So just a little miscommunication there, but they still have third and very short. So got to get this first down. Got to keep a drive alive. You know, this this game's getting into the late stages. So, so Buford's starting to feel a little sense of urgency here. 244 left third quarter. Snap to Bonds, handoff up the middle. Oh boy, breaking free is Fields. Not able to get to the outside. If he could have, he, have, he may have been gone to the pay dirt. He gets to the 40 yard line. Cameron Mitchell with the stop for May River, but a first down courtesy of Kevin Severe of State Farm. Partner, that was just the old classic trap play. Great job of sealing the lineman off there and giving Fields up a hole the size of a Mack truck could drive through, <laughs> and he just did the rest with his feet. Bonds out of the shotgun. He's gonna hand it off to Fields again, why not? He's bouncing through defenders. Wow. Oh my goodness. He nearly took that for another huge gain. It was big enough as it was inside the 30. 
I believe, yes, just inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And you mentioned big. You know, this could be the stage in the game as we get into the to the to the waning uh, minutes here that size is gonna gonna be a factor. And and you know, it looks like Buford may be wearing uh, May River's line down just a little bit. And not much doing there. One fifty one remaining. We have a little bit of an issue on our end. Hopefully it's not affecting the video audience as there's a run up the middle. I do believe that was Caleb Olmer. Uh, okay, that was twenty three Olmer, thank you. Caleb Olmer's had a few rushes today. Looks like that's a Buford first down, even though we can't see our screen right now. I'm looking out on the field and trying to ascertain what's going on over there. And Here we, well. I'm we, gonna do the same. We're looking from field angle now as there's a run to the outside, just a few yards. Now we've got the top of the screen. All right, we're Jeremy, back. Jeremy Pope, Larry Giacomot, Maria Soden, thank you very much. We've got the stop uh, for the Sharks. We uh, we've got quite a staff. One behind us minute here. left, and and Justin Jeremiah and Christopher Sanders were here earlier as well, and certainly uh, wouldn't wouldn't be able to do this without everybody. That's exactly right. Fifty partner. seconds left. Critical for Buford to get points on the board on this drive. This is as deep as they've been all game. Uh oh. Fields. That didn't look good. Not oh no. Gonna get much, oh, but no. he is down on the ground. Uh oh. With a knee. He was able to get up. Let's hope he just tweaked it. He's. Uh, yeah. He looks to be okay. He looks to be fine. That was just. But an, it did not look very no, good. No, it was at all. just an awkward plan. It looks like he almost hyperextended his right knee there. But uh, fortunately. I think those cleats released just in time so that that knee didn't uh, snap. Who? It's good to see that. 12 seconds. Yeah, you bet. 12 seconds to go. 7 0 May River. Fields going to break free, bust up the gut, and get awfully close. Casey Fields is running with an attitude. He is hitting it hard. He's running behind his pads. Again, we talk about young people watching this who are who are football players or aspiring, fo aspiring football players, watch the way this young man runs the football. Gets behind his pads, drives with his legs. That's how you do it. Absolutely, that's the end of the third quarter. Buford knocking on the door, but they trail seven nothing against May River. The Cross County Bowl continues right after these messages on WHHI. Let Casual Living Fireside and Grillin' inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens, and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual At McGinnis Orthodontics, we're committed to giving you a reason to love your smile. We offer state-of-the-art technologies to create beautiful, healthy smiles by utilizing cutting-edge technology and artificial intelligence to guarantee the best results possible. We're in the 1% of top Invisalign providers in the country. The technologies we use are amazing, but we're pretty sure that it's how much we love what we do and the neighbors we do it for that makes the real difference. Visit us in Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort and mention this offer to get $250 off treatment. We look forward to seeing you and for you to love your smile. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Sevier and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Old Town Golf Cars offers golf car service and sales of all makes and models in the Bluffton and Hilton Head area. We are authorized dealers for Gurria, Tomberlin, Advanced EV, and Royal EV, as well as many others. 
We have a wide range of golf carts to choose from at the most affordable prices in the area. Call or stop by today to learn more about our inventory. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, Managing Partner of Hilton Head Capital Partners, and I'm here to be part of your fun high school football season. It's a great time, but the game begins with the coin toss, and that's what I like to see first. So let's have a fun time, let's all play safe, let's enjoy our teams, and please don't drink and drive. Your parents want you around for a while. So enjoy the game and enjoy the season. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. Welcome back to the Cross County Bowl from May River High School, the Shark Tank on WHHI Sports. Second down and six from the five. Fields up the middle. Touchdown. Tie game, or not quite tie game, but indeed a touchdown. Extra point will tie it up. Casey, Seven to six. I think Casey Fields just was getting a little bit tired of seeing that zero up on the board. He just said, I don't blame him. you know what, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. He did it with power. He did it with effort. He did it with sheer will. What a drive there by Buford and an answer. We got a ball game. Yes, we do. Seven to six. The extra point is coming up. From Beck Schwerin. And it's up and through. We are tied at seven. Just underway in quarter number four. Daniel, I, the rest of the crew. We'll be back with more after this timeout. Brought to you by Bluffton Builders. Back in a moment. As a business owner, local service is important to me. I want to work with companies that know me, know my business, and are here when I need them. Pay Proudly's team listened to me and developed a custom solution that saved significant amount of money and made our process to accept payments easier. But what makes working with Pay Proudly even more meaningful is that they genuinely care. They contribute a percentage of fees collected to local charities that are important to me at no additional cost. We are Pay Proudly. This is the mower that cut the lawn that became the place their kids grew up. The legendary Xmark Laser Z is the zero turn mower more landscape pros trust. For cut quality, comfort, and reliability, Xmark official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Laser Z online for special finance offers available now. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. We welcome you back. It's a 7-7 ball game here at the Cross County Bowl. Schwerin kicks off, and it's a short kick. It's going to go out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. And a pay proudly flag on the play. And with that, let's send it down one more time to Jessa Jeremiah for the sideline report. All right, as we're here on the sidelines at May River, I'm noticing a lot of dedicated folks, both staff and parents that are out here supporting, taking a little break here, thanks to Luke Garonski with Consolidated Planning. And we've got a parent in the stands here tonight. I'm gonna to introduce you to George Graves. Thanks for taking a minute. Talk to us a little bit about your, your kids. Your kids go here. Yeah, thanks, Jesse, for having me. Uh, yeah, I have two kids that go to school at May River. I have James, he's my senior who's in the band, and my daughter Faith is a freshman. 
I love when parents come out in support of their children and their team, and it's just a great thing to see. You're not only here just to support them specifically, you're out here tonight to help the band out. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. We um, have volunteer parents uh, who, who are band parents that will volunteer to come out during home games, and um, my volunteer is for the pit crew. So we go out and help the band set up uh, either pre-game uh, performances or for halftime performances. So we, you'll see us lugging a lot of equipment onto the uh, field so they can do their performances. And then we help them put it all away at the end of the game. And we also volunteer for uh, competitions when they travel. Uh, they have competitions throughout the state. And so we'll travel with them uh, and we'll do the same thing, help them set up. It's a needed thing, some of these behind the scenes things that we don't always think about. We just show up and it all looks great and it comes together, but folks like you out here doing literally the heavy lifting, I think it's wonderful. So your son is a senior, been on the band for four years, so you've been a four-year band dad. We'll give you the credit where credit is due. And not just you, your wife is involved here as well. Tell us about what she does. Sure, my wife Kimberly also volunteers uh, as either a chaperone or like tonight, she's also helping out with the concessions, You're selling popcorn, and uh, uh, they sell uh, oh t-shirts as a fundraiser for the band just to raise money. I love it, it's great. So the whole family is saying go Sharks tonight. Thanks for taking some time with us here. We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you for having me. All right, guys, we're back to you. Jessa, thank you very much. Yeah, Marcus, we talked about Casey Fields on that drive, but I think you know we, we gotta give a shout out to that big, bad Buford offensive line. I mean, yes, they indeed. really got a push, and I think they're starting to wear May River's front down I think they are just too. a little bit. You know, we, we did see that. Uh, finally, they got that stingy defense to break down a little bit, but uh, kudos to, to that offensive line. What a drive. 11.55 remaining in the ball game, or regulation, I should say, because we're tied at uh -oh. seven. There's a uh -oh. flip. Fumble! And it's picked up by Buford. Oh They're going to take it to the 25-yard line. And that was just a little bit of a scoop. And being in the right spot at the right time for Buford. My that, I believe, was number eight, Carter Bowersox, corralling the football It was as it was flipped up in the air. You know, we haven't discussed a play of the game yet. That, that might be a candidate. I think you I think you nailed it. I think that's you know we we talk about turnovers and penalties. That's that's the probably the most critical of of either that we've seen tonight. And talk about Buford over the last few minutes taking the momentum and just sucking some of the energy certainly out of May River but out of this crowd a little bit as well. Our play of the game brought to you by Selectric. Selectric Selectric your Power Pro Elite Generac dealer in the low country done right now and not much doing right now for Buford on that play. Well, I think what's so brutal about that if you're a May River Sharks fan is that defense just uh, was on the field for five or six minutes on a 10, 11, 12 play drive. They're already tired and one play and they got to get right back out there. Boy, this is a right. momentum shift if I've ever seen it. Ball at the 15-yard line. Here's Fields up the middle, juking through defenders near the goal line. Casey Fields so close to the end zone and trying to get a little bit of an extra spot from the officials, or at least their, uh, his teammates were trying to get a little bit of an extra spot, but not happening. Yeah, Marcus, I, the one. I just think uh, we talked about it in the last drive. They're, I think they're just starting to wear May River down a little yes. bit. Yes. I, I completely agree. Hands on hips. You've got a lot of tired players out there, but that's well, a great stop. That's not a tired player for May River as Fields is tackled, and he's down on the ground, hopefully just trying to get his ability to get up. Yeah, I just think he's tired. I think he's wearing down. I mean, these guys, you know, it's, it's what, 10 minutes left in the ball game, and these guys are, are giving it their heart and their soul. And uh, I wouldn't gosh. expect anything less. No, uh, but boy, if May River can somehow come up with one more stop, that's that's going to be critical here because Buford has all the momentum riding on their side. Ball at the one, second down and one, man in motion as it Great is Bond. I, I take that back. It's Ferris taking the football 
around the right side, and Darian Perry with the stop. Third down and one. Number 10 there, Nathan Kamer, Kamer uh, in on the stop as well. Great defense here. What a, what a stand so far by May River. 10.02 remaining in the fourth quarter of the Cross County Bowl on WHHI Sports. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Jeremy Pope, Maria Soden, Larry Giacomot, Christopher Sanders, Jessa Jeremiah. 9.49 remaining and counting. Buford discussing things. We've got a timeout called by the Eagles. We'll take it with them. And when we come back, it'll be third and one here in the fourth on the Cross County Bowl on WHHI Sports. Don't move. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac Generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. No doubt we're living in uncertain times and many of our loved ones are spending more time at home. Selectric will have you prepared when the power goes out. Selectric, done right now. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Welcome back. Third down and one. Handoff. And it's Fields. Touchdown. He got across. Touchdown. Casey Fields takes it to the house. Boy, a valiant effort by May River, but just too much. Too much O-line and Casey Fields. Boy, that's just a tough combination to stop. And I, I was going to say before that play, they were definitely in two down territory. They, you know, worst yeah. case scenario is they get stopped. You've got May River pinned all the way back. Your defense is playing strong. So, boy, what a, what a, you know, all, all predicated on that uh, untimely turnover if you're, if, you're, if you're May River. Schwerin with the extra point. It is through. Oh, no, he no. missed it to the right. That could be, that could be big. He missed it to the right. I thought it was going to sneak through, but it didn't. 13 7 Buford. We've got another timeout. Nine minutes, 38 seconds to go in regulation. Back after this on WHHI, it's the Cross County Bowl. I think my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. We welcome you back. 13-7, Buford with the lead. Schwerin's kick is picked up at the 12-yard line. What a great tackle. And great tackle at the 20. Daniel, during the break, I just started cracking up, and you looked at me like, what, what's, the, what's up? What's the matter? It's the first time I've ever heard a band play Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yeah, the May River Band over here rocking they're out doing, Mary Had a Little they're Lamb. They're doing a great job. They're doing a little bit of everything. Well, you know, the band might be as excited as the May River crowd about that missed PAT. You know, yeah. sometimes when you're back on your heels like this and you've lost momentum in a game, uh, sometimes you're looking for any little shred of light to give you some hope. And I mean, we've seen, we saw it in the Pittsburgh Cincinnati game this this past oh, week. Oh man! You know, uh, did we ever missed PATs can cost games? Yeah, and, and that could come back to haunt uh, Buford. Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, uh, New York Giants, Tennessee Titans, and there was another one. It was like that too. There's a handoff 
up the middle. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but oh, Cleveland, Carolina. I was right. in, I was in Carolina and Charlotte. That's right. Not going to the game, but I did see the Carolina Cleveland game, and that was the other one to give Cleveland the win. Special teams and defense. 9-14 to play here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, so May River, you know, they have time. They, they, they've got to just kind of, no reason to panic here. Just stick to your game plan. Yeah, they've been moving the ball all night, a uh, little mix of run and pass. I just, I think they just got to settle down and do what they do best. And we have another timeout. And it's brought to you by Bluffton Builders. We'll take it with them. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Hey, are you looking to make living in the low country a little more affordable? Do you have a detached garage just like this one? Well, why not add on to it and make it a passive income opportunity? They call this a carriage house or an accessory dwelling unit or ADU. By building an ADU, you will increase your home's value, have an opportunity to actually make some money, and give someone a high quality home to live in and rent just like this one. My name is Ryan from Bluffton Builders, and my goal is to make home ownership more enjoyable through the highest quality craftsmanship, convenience, and communication. To learn more, go to Bluffton.Builders forward slash ADU. Not everyone starts their day at the same time or in the same way. But no matter when or how, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative is there to help you power every moment of it in countless ways. Because whenever it starts, one thing is certain. We never stop. Palmetto Electric Cooperative your source for power and information. 8.58 to go here in the fourth. Macy up the middle, breaking free, and he gets out to about the 35, maybe the 36 yard line. We saw Justin Jarrett a couple of times tonight. He's here with Loco Sports. Wes Kerr is at the Hilton Head game whomever Hilton Head is playing tonight. Wes Kerr, a Hilton Head high graduate. But Justin Jarrett really doing a heck of a job with Loco. They've got the podcast out to preview and review. They do a, a, a podcast after the games end on Friday nights at about 11.15. They've got a lot of information still on locosports.com. He's got roving reporters, including himself and Wes. They do a great job as there's a run up the middle, and it's... Jaden Jones taking it out to about the 45-yard line. Yeah, Jaden Jones says, Casey Fields, whatever you can do, I can do too. Anything you can uh, do, I can do better. Yards after contact. Boy, that's so critical. And these backs are, not only are they fast and elusive, they're powerful. They are. Yeah, but no, you mentioned the guys at Loco. I mean, we, we count on them for so many of the stats that we give you, give you our viewers every week. We couldn't do it without those guys. I haven't seen Jimmy Searson yet today. I hope I'm pronouncing his last name correct. But Jimmy has gone to over 600 Buford games in his life. He, he hasn't, I think he's missed only one. He is the true Buford Eagle super fan. And uh, kudos to he and the rest of the folks at Loco, to Wes, to Justin, and, and to the fans of Low Country Sports. I've been calling football games, you know, been doing it now for three years every week but off and on since 2013 and I mean it's just so much fun doing high school football to begin with but with fans like Jimmy and people that we get to work with and associate with every Friday night pretty doggone awesome yeah sports wouldn't be sports without characters right that's right Macy little screen pass to the right side and that was well, Perry I do believe and he got mauled Good by, pursuit by Buford. By a flock of eagles. Wow. Yeah, they just swarmed the ball there. There's. It looks like, uh, you know, with this momentum shift that, that Buford's really starting to key in on a few of May River's bread and butter plays. Right. But, but I'll tell you, a good response from May River so far. They've got the ball all the way to the 50-yard line here. And, you know, they've got time to, to do something with it. And, my gosh, we, we talked about that PAT. I think, Marcus, this one's going to come down to the wire. I think it will. Later on, I will talk with the winning head coach, brought to you by Summit Services Heating and Air with the trophy presentation. Your leader in home performance services in the Lowcountry. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI Sports all year long. And then after that, Daniel will have the Island Tire Auto 
uh, MVP of the game, and we'll get that read to you right now as the clock continues to tick. 6.15 to go in the fourth. Island Tire, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head, an island tradition. I have so many markings of when we get these reads done and whatnot. Yeah, our buddy Barry Edwards over at Island Tire, he does, he does a, a great he job. He does a great job. Macy set to throw, and now he's going to take off and take it up the middle for maybe a yard or two. Buford is just going nuts, as are their fans as I take a look to my left, and they're across the way. I mean, you can see them on your TV screen as well. They're across the way, and they've done a nice job supporting their guys here tonight. Now this is uh, this is a this is the the critical point up up to this stage in the in the football game. So, you know, you got. You got to play strategy here, one way or the yeah. other. If you go for it, you know you're you're going to give and don't make it. You're going to give Buford great field position. You got a chance to to pin them in there a little bit deep. If the defense can come up with a stop, you're going to flip the field on them. So a little little strategy here, a little chess match between Coach fourth, Summers and Coach Lybrand. Fourth down and six. The Sharks call a timeout on the fourth down. We'll take it with them. Brought to you by Bluffton Builders. Be back. A big fourth down coming up next. Hi, I'm Beth Drake. As your local realtor, I am proud to support our local sports. If you're considering buying or selling a home, you want an experienced agent who knows the local market and how to get you the best price. In the past 10 years, I've helped over 700 buyers and sellers achieve their real estate goals. From staging and marketing your property to assisting you in finding the home of your dreams, I would love to help you as well. Call me at 843-422-7500. Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. Welcome back. Five minutes, 16 seconds to They're go going regulation. For it, folks. May River trailing 13-7. This 13 could be the ball seven. game. They're going for it. The snap will go to Macy. He's got a man in motion to his left. He's going to run up the middle. What a play. He's going to have a first down. Huge. Tanner Macy. Tanner, right up the gut. Tanner Macy is a gamer, buddy. A gamer. That kid. That kid has instinct and he's fearless. What a what a great play call. Again, that hesitation move. He's just got he's just got a natural feel and an instinct for that play and it's just enough as I said before. Just that little pause is just enough to throw the defenders off kilter yeah. and he and he's finding the holes. First down at the 39-yard line. Macy goes out of the gun. 13-7 May River trails, but they're on the prowl. As that is Jaden Jones? Jones taking it. And he gets to the 36 yard line. Four minutes, 44 seconds and counting left in the fourth. Boy, what a game partner. We couldn't oh, have asked for more than this. this. This is great. And it's going down to the wire. It was seven nothing May River until the final moments of the third. Boy, if you Buford like- it scores, you... they get the turnover, score again. And now May River on the prowl. If you like this rivalry before, You'll it's, love it it's, now. It's only, it's only growing. Here's a roll out to the right side. Perry dropped. Boy, dropped there he to is. to the ground. Colton Ferris. Unreal for Bolton, Colton Ferris. Bolton Colton. Boy, I tell you, <laughs> Mr. Wonderful. Boy, that's this guy. He, he is a stud, isn't he? He is. And you can see why He's App, been a stud tonight. App, App State's after him. He'll look good in that black and gold of App State. They're going to get a great player. And speaking of App State, what a, Holy what, what a, what a win this past week. They oh. almost beat North Carolina. Then they beat Texas A&M. Texas A&M, yeah. yeah. Wow. 3.46 to go. 
Three minutes, 46 seconds to go. The snap coming, and it's going to be Macy on the ground, taking the right side near another first uh -oh. down. Bull loose. Buford says they have it. Do they? Was he that down? is the answer. They're saying he's the, down, uh, I question, think. question looking for the oh, answer. Oh, what a call. And they say that he's down. I was going to say, go to, go to, go to, go to review. Go yeah. to review. We don't do Replay. that in high school football. Unfortunately, we don't. Oh, my gosh. Boy, May River. I, I thought he was down. But, boy, you know, without – Without review, that, that can go either way in high school football. We've got a running clock at three minutes oh, and it's, one second. It's going to come right down to the last play, partner. And that's, yeah. that's, you wouldn't want it any other way. But no. I, I got to say again, can't, can't give enough praise to Tanner Macy. He, I watched that run there, Marcus. He's got a burst. He's got a really a, a powerful burst of speed. And boy, he's been Here giving he Buford again. trouble all night. Up the middle. And it's awfully close. Buford says that he didn't get it. It looked to me like he may have just on the other side of that line. And oh, he didn't get it. Heartbreaking. The Eagles take over. Heartbreaking. At the 32-yard line. Marcus, he looks to be less than a yard short. And it's are actually gonna, at the 30. Are they going to measure it for that or no? It looked to me like no, it's a turnover. Nate River was heading to their sideline as Buford wow. was heading to theirs. It is a turnover. Buford's going to get the ball with the lead. What a defensive stand Again, 13 by Buford. Again, 13-7. Again, a reminder, we've got the trophy presentation and the coach's interview. I'll handle that. And then after that, the MVP interview. Marcus. Daniel, who are you thinking right now? Well, if it stays like it is, got to go with Casey Fields. Okay. I, I just, you know... I, I, That's not a bad pick, and here he is. I would have said at halftime, you give it to the entire uh, defensive unit of May River. I was even starting to think up until just a moment ago, Tanner Macy possibly. Yeah, no, I mean, because Macy's, he's Macy's pulled out played his half. heart out. He's played his heart out and his tail off. I'd love to know from the guys at Loco how many yards he has on the ground, but he has chewed up yards all night. We'll just, find that out later on. We've got a timeout with about two and a half minutes left. We'll take it with them. Brought to you by Bluffton Builders. Back with more next. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Did you know that the amount of tire that's actually making contact with the road is about the same size as a slice of watermelon. And that's all you have to keep you safe. It makes sense to have the best like Michelin. That's why Island Tire has been proudly selling Michelin tires since 1978. At Allen Tire, we don't think of it as just a set of tires. You can trust us to be thinking about the safety of your car, and more importantly, what's inside. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. We welcome you back. 227 left in the fourth, which is an eternity. But Fields takes it near the first down line. And Darian Perry with the stop. Yeah, they're just Not trying to doing. work some clock here. Um, May Rivers have being forced to use those timeouts. But a critical third down here. If they can stop them, they're going to get the ball back. Yeah, uh, this isn't over yet. Third down and 10. Bonds and company with the football. Up 13-7. Dennison goes in motion to the right, lined up at tight end. Hand off to Fields. And he's not going anywhere. He is stuffed by the school of Sharks. Boy, and the Sharks defense, just like it has all night long, steps up when it's when it matters the most. Looks like we have a and player down. I believe it's Jaden Jones. Oh, no. It is. Oh, boy. That's not good. We've got an injury timeout. We'll be back with more right after this. 
Old Town Golf Cars offers golf car service and sales of all makes and models in the Bluffton and Hilton Head area. We are authorized dealers for Gurria, Tomberlin, Advanced EV, and Royal EV, as well as many others. We have a wide range of golf carts to choose from at the most affordable prices in the area. Call or stop by today to learn more about our inventory. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. As a business owner, local service is important to me. I want to work with companies that know me, know my business, and are here when I need them. Pay Proudly's team listened to me and developed a custom solution that saved significant amount of money and made our process to accept payments easier. But what makes working with Pay Proudly even more meaningful is that they genuinely care. They contribute a percentage of fees collected to local charities that are important to me at no additional cost. We are Pay Proudly. This is the mower that cut the lawn where you laid on your back so a princess could fly. The Xmark Radius will get you on and off the lawn quickly with the signature cut, comfort, and reliability more landscape pros trust. Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Radius online for special finance offers available now. We welcome you back. Jaden Jones was the injured May River Shark, as we mentioned, and he was able to get up and walk yeah, that a was, little bit off his own power. That was nice to see. Yeah, we were you both holding our right. breath here. Cool. You know, our player of the game last week, player of the week. Um, you know, what an what a what an effort all game for him. But to see him get up and walk off on his own power, looks like he's going to be okay. Yeah. And that's that's really good news. Well, Marcus, you talked about the, the the play of the game could very well be the turnover deep into May Rivers territory immediately after their first score. Yeah, Bauer Sox and made I, that play, corralling the football off the pitch. I, I that at, at this point, up in the air. Other than that one play, it's a seven to seven ball game with with just stingy defense on both sides. Yep. Buford calls a timeout now. We'll take it. Brought to you by Bluffton Builders. We'll be back. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac Generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. No doubt we're living in uncertain times and many of our loved ones are spending more time at home. Selectric will have you prepared when the power goes out. Selectric. Done right now. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, Managing Partner of Hilton Head Capital Partners, and I'm here to be part of your fun high school football season. It's a great time, but the game begins with the coin toss, and that's what I like to see first. So let's have a fun time, let's all play safe, let's enjoy our teams, and please don't drink and drive. Your parents want you around for a while. So enjoy the game and enjoy the season. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Welcome back. 51 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. It's like Michael Dennison long snapping here. This is critical to get that snap back. He did it nicely, the punt's and, away. And it is up in the air. It's a short one, but it takes a little oh. bit of a roll. And Dennison is going to take it down at the 40 yard line. 43.5 seconds to go. If there is another timeout, we will stay here 
and uh, and blab a little bit about well, what we've seen. This has been one heck of a ball game. There's a lot to blab about. I mean, it's it, just, it certainly just, is. there's so many facets and elements to this football game that have made it great to watch. You know, some some folks like the the high flying, high scoring ball games, but I I've always kind of been, even though I was an offensive player. Myself, I, I, I love to watch these low-scoring defensive struggles. I, I like these types of games if there are big, key, crucial moments with big plays, and we've seen that tonight from both these teams. Yes, we have. You know, the offenses have both done performed very well tonight, but the defenses have just held tough when it when it mattered the most. Macy will go out of the gun, and we've got some laundry on the field. Brought to you by Pay Proudly. Boy, Sharks with too many men, and they're backing up five yards. That's untimely. Yeah, um, you know, speaking of because of time, you know, we've got very little left. Forty-three point six seconds. You know, I gotta believe that Rodney Summers has got a few plays in his playbook for yep. this circumstance, but he's gonna have to pull them out, and his team's gonna have to execute for them to have a chance. Out of the gun goes Macy. Screen pass to the right side. Now it's going back to Macy. What's he gonna do? He's going to try to run, and Buford is having none of it. I think that's uh, the experience of a, of a coach like Lybrand and his staff that said, guys, they're going to come out and try to pull out all the stops. They did, and Buford was ready. Jack Sumner and Zach Tolbert there to make the stop. The spike from Tanner Macy into the Shark Tank turf. It's not actually turf. It is grass. As we mentioned last week, May River, the only team that we know of that does not have turf yet, but they it's were, coming. They were supposed to have it, and I guess uh, the supply chain, it didn't get there in time, so uh, they will have it. But, Marcus, you know, regardless, with 22 seconds left, regardless of the outcome here, right. uh, my hat's off to both of these teams, oh, both of these coaching staff, both of these fan bases. I mean, this has just been a contest for a rivalry that has lived up to the billing in every respect. That's for sure. 22.2 seconds remaining. Macy in trouble, rolling right. He's got some running room in a lane to the 35-yard line. 14 seconds left. They don't have any time. They outs. don't have they any gotta time. Get on the ball. They've got to get up there quickly. Gotta Eight get seconds. Got to get on the ball. Five. Three seconds to go. Loose ball. Macy's got it in his hand. He's going to go ball down game. by a plethora. What a win. Of, of uh, May River Sharks lose to Buford. He goes down to a plethora of Buford Eagles, and Buford wins it 13 to 7. And poetic that Carter Bowersox, number eight, would be on the last stop. You know, he was the player Without that recovered question. the fumble, that turned the game to give the Buford Eagles a huge win here at May River. Our Summit Services Heating and Air Conditioning and Island Tire Automotive Services postgame show next on WHHI. Buford wins 13-7. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hey, are you looking to make living in the low country a little more affordable? Do you have a detached garage just like this one? Well, why not add on to it and make it a passive income opportunity? They call this a carriage house or an accessory dwelling unit or ADU. By building an ADU, you will increase your home's value, have an opportunity to actually make some money, and give someone a high quality home to live in and rent just like this one. My name is Ryan from Bluffton Builders, and my goal is to make home ownership more enjoyable through the highest quality craftsmanship, convenience, and communication. To learn more, go to Bluffton.Builders forward slash ADU. At McGinnis Orthodontics, we're committed to giving you a reason to love your smile. We offer state-of-the-art technologies to create beautiful, healthy smiles by utilizing cutting-edge technology and artificial intelligence to guarantee the best results possible. We're in the 1% of top Invisalign providers in the country. The technologies we use are amazing, but we're pretty sure that it's how much we love what we do and the neighbors we do it for that makes the real difference. Visit us in Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort and mention this offer to get $250 off treatment. We look forward to seeing you and for you to love your smile. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%,
Call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. Eleven fifty-five remaining in the ball game, or in regulation, I should say, because we're tied at seven. Uh -oh, There's a uh -oh. fumble, and it's picked up by Buford. Oh They're going to take it to the twenty-five yard line, and that was just a little bit of a scoop. And being in the right spot at the right time for Buford, that I believe was number eight, Carter Bowersox, corralling the football. It was as it was flipped up in the air. We talk about turnovers and penalties. That's that's the probably the most critical of, of either that we've seen tonight. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac Generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. No doubt we're living in uncertain times and many of our loved ones are spending more time at home. Selectric will have you prepared when the power goes out. Selectric, done right now. Let casual living, fireside and grilling inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual We welcome you back to the Cross County Bowl. It is the post-game show, and it's the portion of the post-game show, the trophy presentation, presented by our sponsor, Summit Services Heating and Air, our presenting sponsor for high school football and WHHI. Marcus Walsh back here with the winning head coach, Bryce Lybrand. Coach, I, I would like to know, what did you tell the guys at halftime down 7 nothing? There was definitely a switch that happened in that second half, particularly late in the third quarter. Yeah, we we didn't really tell them a whole lot, honestly. We just, you know, this group doesn't panic, so we don't we don't have to, you know, we're not big rah rah speech people. Um, you know, they just played hard, and we told them, you know, every play is about six seconds, and if you take a half of football, you're gonna have to play about five minutes full out. So we just told them play five minutes of full out, and uh, and they did that, you know. And this team is is they love each other and they play so hard. This is the hardest playing group I've ever had, and so. Um, you know, we don't have to panic because we know they're going to do their job. And so they did. Just really proud of them. Really proud of our coaching staff and uh, happy for our fans that came over here to watch the game. Casey Fields is going to be getting our MVP tonight. Daniel will talk to him in a moment. But talk about what you saw out of Casey tonight. Yeah, it's just who Casey is. You know, I don't, I don't worry about him. He's a little frustrated after he fumbled. And, and I told him, I said, I'm going to hand you the ball the next play. And, uh, and then we're just going to go. And, uh, you know. I knew he would respond. There's no doubt in my mind. I knew if we won the football game, it was going to be because he had a great, you know, half of football, and um, and that's what he did. You know, I, I ain't worried about that one. If that's the one I got to worry about, then then we're going to be all right. Talk a little bit about the big play by Carter Bowersox in the end of the or towards the end of the third quarter that really turned the tide for you guys, getting the ball in deep at uh, May River's end of the field. Yeah, I mean, just just playing assignment football, being where you're supposed to be, and, you know, he's in the right spot. And, you know, Carter's, uh, Carter's one of those kids that seems to kind of be in the right spot a lot. You know, he's, he's had some interceptions and, uh, you know, had that fumble recovery. So, um, you know, he did a great job. And our defense did a great job all night. I mean, they, they let him score on the first drive and then didn't let him score again. That's, that's a testament to that group, and it's a testament to Coach Garl and, and those defensive coaches and everything they do. So uh, just, just really proud of them. This has been a heck of a game with – an 8-3A and 7-4A team. The rivalry continues. We'll be back with Daniel Court talking with our MVP, Casey Fields, as the wrap-up show continues after this on WHHI Sports. 
I think my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common, quality, innovation and service. Give us a call today. All right, welcome back. It gives me great pride and pleasure to award the MVP of this contest, and what a great game it was, to number two running back Casey Fields. Casey, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. What I was going to ask you, and we were just talking about this as Coach was being interviewed, this is your first true game at running back. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, I, think, I think you came out of the, the gates and made an impression, didn't you? I sure did. Well, we had a rest first half, second half we just came out and balled out like how we usually do. Well, they say in football and, and in all sports, playmakers make plays. And what I said on our broadcast was it looked like you had a great first half, but you guys just weren't able to quite get over the threshold. And the second half on the, on the first touchdown drive, you just looked like you just had a little bit more will and desire and you were running behind your pads and it was just impressive from, from every respect. And I think coaches all over the country are going to watch that and see, as a wide receiver convert to running back, you're a dual threat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coach mentioned the, the fumble, and he said, you know, uh, no worries there. I'm going to go back to, to Casey and let Casey do what Casey does. What were your thoughts after the fumble, and how did you recover from that? I mean, after the fumble, I got a little frustrated or whatever. But, you know, you got to bounce back. You can't just keep reminiscing on the past. So, you know, just went back on the field and did what I had to do. You were a leader on the state finalist uh, team last year. You were a wide receiver on that team. Senior leadership is so critical at, in any sport, but especially at the high school football level. You really showed some amazing uh, leadership. W what are your prospects and what are your thoughts about the rest of the season? The rest of the season, just taking one game at a time. That's it, one game at a time. Well, Jaden Jones said last week, uh, as he was given a player of the game, he said the, the rivalry has become personal between Buford and May River. Couldn't have asked for a better football game. Couldn't have asked for a better player of the game. You earned it with your feet, but uh, you also earned it with your character. We're proud of you. Yes, sir, I appreciate it. Very appreciative. All right, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. Uh, for Casey Fields, Coach Libran, my, my partner Marcus Walsh, Larry Jackamot and the rest of the WHHI sports team. I'm Daniel Court. We'll see you next week when we have Well Branch and Battery Creek.